Robin, Bob Breeze, no time, long sea. I mean, long sea, no time. Nice. What am I, invisible or something? Oh, yeah, Fafnir. Uh, how's it? As you can see, Fafnir hasn't changed a bit. So, uh, how are the girls? Oh, they're gonna be fine. Apparently, it's nothing too serious. Can we stick our heads in and say hi? <gasps> It all started last night, when Chem detected a mermaid at Terra's school. I can't stand mermaids. They always think they're so much better looking than everybody else. Where was I? Oh, right. So, we're outside Terra's school looking for this mermaid. Huh? Hey, you! I know you're there! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. How do you expect to arrest a Semshenach if you start yelling like that? They'll know you're there. Yes, but you see, Tara likes to take a psychological approach. We talk it out with the Semshenach to try and understand their problem and help them find a solution. Sometimes we can even get them to go back to Otherworld without a fight. You try and understand Semshenachs? You do realize that giving them a good pounding solves their problems a lot faster, don't you? Uh, sure, I guess. Hey, talk to us. Maybe we can help you. Sometimes talking it out doesn't quite do the job. Is that right? That's why, as I was thinking, the girls took a more direct approach. She's getting away! Don't move! Ah! Oh! Uh, what is this stuff? Ah! Huh? Hey, where'd she go? She could be anywhere now. And if she's got a shield that stops us from picking her up on our crystals, we're gonna have a hard time tracking her down. Well, we can do it without magic. The mermaid must have been planning to do something at the school. You're right, Fafnir. We'd better start there. Let's go take a look. Can somebody tell us what's going on around here? Huh? Coming! Mm -hmm. See ya! Rosemond uh -huh. Beauty Expo. New technologies to unlock the secrets of your own natural good looks. Hey, why'd they give me all of these leaflets? Who knows? But if the mermaid showed up here, I'm sure it's not an accident. Right. But what could she be planning to do at a beauty convention? More spellbinders. Okay, catch me if you can. So now, all we have to do is read all of these to figure out what the mermaid was doing at the convention. Ooh, you haven't seen the conference list yet. Professor Baba presents how to get baby soft skin without a pacifier. Huh, Boil and pustule specialist Dr. Flouch reveals everything there is to know about curing skin rashes. He's even bringing a poisonous stinging jellyfish. <laughs> hey, maybe he can get rid of the girls' rashes so they can... ...by this mermaid who had disgusting boils all over her face. Dr. Flouch! That's it! A boil specialist! He must be the one the mermaid wants to see! Maybe she just wants to get rid of her boils. to go everywhere! We could have just walked here! <laughs> the next presentation by Dr. Flouch is about to begin at the school's self-entrance. Let's get close to the stage. Fabrice and I will take the right-hand side. Fafnir and Cal, you take the other side. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Dr. Flouch, and yes, I have a jellyfish on my head. <laughs> so, why am I not suffering the effects of its poisonous stings? Because I've developed a revolutionary product that prevents and cures all types of skin afflictions. There's a mermaid around here. I can smell her. I recognize that salty smell anywhere. <laughs> Miniaturist. <laughs> 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 
And Cal, there's been a break in at the chemical warehouse by the docks. I've detected oh. traces of magic as well. The mermaid we're after may be behind it. I think you'd better go down there and take a look. Chemistry equipment? Huh? Why would a mermaid steal that? First, she kidnapped the scientist. And now she steals chemistry equipment. All I know is this mermaid is really starting to get on my nerves. Come look at this. <gasps> it's another puddle in the sun. Ugh. Jim. Robin, what? I've just located the mermaid in the shopping district just north of your position. Via Transportus! Up here, we can see all the streets in the shopping district. Everyone, take a side and keep a lookout. Look! That mermaid's coming out of that store. Let's get her! <laughs> Wait, Cal! She's holding Dr. Flouch hostage. You better follow her. Nice going. She's on the run! Via Transportus! Uh, you again? You must really want your face to look like your friends. Let Dr. Flout go, you hideous thing. You think I'm hideous? Well, just you wait. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. In the land of the what? The mermaid stole a large quantity of therine powder. Apparently, it's a new ultra-concentrated catalyst. Huh, catalyst is a substance that accelerates chemical reactions. And no, I have no idea what she'd want with it. Ah, oh, those annoying spellbinders. They almost ruined my whole plan. Huh? Well, Dr. Flouch, I brought you the huh? catalyst. Now you can do your job. She kidnapped a scientist who specializes in skin diseases and stole some chemicals. She probably wants him to make a medicine to get rid of her boils. Wait, I just remembered something she said right before she tried to splash me. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. What if we look at it the other way around? What if instead of curing herself, the mermaid wants to infect everyone else, the same way she infected Terra and Sparrow? That makes sense. If everyone has boils, she'll be the most beautiful. That's why she stole the catalyst. She wants to make a big batch of toxin. <laughs> I can use these pipes to spread the toxin, and soon the whole city will be itching and covered in boils. <laughs> We've got to stop her somehow, before she finishes making the toxin. But how does she keep disappearing so fast without using a transportus? I think I know the answer to that one. Robin, we've been looking for clues for an hour now. Are you sure we're in the right place? She's got to be inside Roseman's water distribution network. Well, we better find her, and fast! Dr. Flouch must be almost finished with the formula by now. And it's gonna be a disaster! If Sparrow were here, she'd know what to do. Or Tara. She'd have already come up with a plan by now. A totally crazy one, but it would totally work. We've got some skills too, you know. <laughs> Like 
like this, I can see even the tiniest trace of magic hours after someone left it behind. Over here. Huh? <laughs> well done, Doctor. Thanks to the catalyst, it'll only take a few minutes for my poison to spread through the whole city's water supply. Via Levitus! <gasps> It's over. You may as well give up now. Whoa! Uh, uh. Ah, here, take her! Are you out of your mind? I don't want to end up like Sparrow and Tara. Well, can't argue with that. Uh. Beta Team, remember the time we had to trap that sticky elf? On three. Okay? Got, Got it. it! A sticky elf? What kind of missions do you guys get? One, two, <laughs> via paralysis! Via blockus! We can finally send her back to Otherworld. <laughs> what are you so happy about? Go ahead and send me back to Otherworld, but I won't be the only one covered in boils. Your little girlfriends will have them for the rest of their lives. They'll know what it feels like to be rejected by everybody. <laughs> How are we gonna break the news to the girls? <laughs> But I can't go around looking like this for the rest of my life. Yeah, well, the mermaid was pretty sure of it. No, no, Cal, you don't get it. I have to give a presentation next week. I can't go out in public with these, these disgusting spots on my face. And from the heart of the sickness, the cure will emerge. The heart of the sickness. The heart of the sickness. Ugh, that stupid mermaid. Let me at her. I am going to turn her into fish food. I've got it. Tara. The heart of the sickness. I know what it is. We just need some of the mermaid's water. <laughs> well, did it work? <laughs> 